Good morning. Welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 385. We're 15 episodes before 400. I can't even believe it. If you're joining me live, please say hello. Hi, Naomi and Mark and Cherie. Good morning. Hi, Lisa and Joe. Hi, Belle. Hi, Constance and Judy. Hi, Dee. Hi, Joe. Hi, Lily. Hi, Linda. Good morning, Barbara and Marnie. Good morning, Diane and Christy. So glad you all could be here this morning. Hi, Dee and Chantel. Good morning, Becky. Thank you all for joining me live. Welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 385. Can you believe we are 15 away from 400? Hi, Stacy and Melissa. And I know a lot of you have been here since the beginning or at least since before 100. Hi, Judy, thanks for joining live. We are in Southwest Florida, for those of you who don't know. We're waiting on the sun to rise over the buildings and the trees in the east. And this is the beautiful Gulf of Mexico behind me. Uh, so peaceful this morning. So peaceful and gorgeous. Hi, Judy. Hi, Faye. Thanks for joining live. I missed a few names. Sorry about that, but I appreciate you being here. Thanks, Cherie. Hi, Jane. Yes, this is one of the projects from Layered Knit, and I'll be talking about it in a couple of minutes. Yes, this is the Jenna Corset Tied Poncho from Layers Knit. Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining live. Leanne. Leanne, I'm wearing one of the pieces from Layers Knit, and I'll be talking about it in a minute. Hi, Kay Beach. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Anna. Thanks for joining live. So glad to see all of you here this morning. Hi, Kelly. All right, well, let's get started then. So what I wanted to show you first is this gorgeous poncho that I love so much. Good morning, Jill. It is a really unique construction. It has raglan shaping. If you've done a top-down raglan shaped uh, pullover before, either in knit or crochet, you'll know that there's two increase lines on either side of your shoulders here, and there's two increase lines on either side of your shoulders in the back. So. If you did this in one piece, it would be a raglan yoke, right? So what I did is normally when you do, well, let's say a cardigan, you do the back shoulders and cut the front in half to make it one piece but broken. If you're doing a pullover, you keep it all continuous in one piece. If you're making the pieces flat, not in the round, you would make each shoulder separately and the front and back separately. Uh, those of you who have made uh, garments before will know exactly what I'm talking about. If it doesn't make sense, it's just because you haven't made garments before, and that's okay. Because even if you wanted to try this as your first garment-y kind of a project, you wouldn't need to know that backstory. So don't stress if you don't understand what I'm talking about. But those of you that do will actually really appreciate where I'm going with this. So. This is kind of a mishmash between doing a cardigan in rows instead of rounds, right? But also a mis uh, combining doing the pieces separately and sewing them together. So I did the shoulders and the back as one piece, and then I did my front as a separate piece and did my raglan shaping for the yoke and then worked even in pattern and even a little bit of shaping just so that the poncho kept its nice a-line shape and then what you do is instead of sewing them together i used chains and corset tied it you could also put buttons on there buttons would be really pretty as well um, those of you who are asking i did this in my worsted weight 100 percent american merino wool yarn called be so brave but i have to tell you if i were making this again right now uh, and I really kind of want to, I would love to see it in a thinner weight yarn. It would be just stunning in Be So Fine, Be So Fine Bling, Be So Sporty, or Be So Sporty Bling. Uh, you could actually, if you, you could even maybe make it a little bit shorter and wear it as an evening cover over a dress that way, or you could make it this length and do it in cotton or bamboo and make it a beach cover up. Um, 
You could belt this as well. There are ways to belt something like this. I didn't bring a belt this morning, uh, but hi, Twanisha. Thanks for joining live. So I wanted to show you that it's so comfortable on and having the slit sides open here means that you have your arms available. In a normal type of poncho, sometimes it's difficult to actually practically behave and move around when you're wearing it. So having the arms open is extremely helpful. You could also sew it down here and just leave the armholes as slits. And that's a really pretty look too, where you would sew from here down and keep that a solid fabric and just have the arms open. Cause then you could put your arms in and out whenever you see fit. Thanks butterfly kisses. So yes, this is in worsted weight yarn, which is fantastic for spring and fall and even winter over a turtleneck. But what I'm suggesting is it would also be absolutely stunning and a lighter weight yarn for a more, a more summery and year round look. Thanks Cherie. Does anybody have any questions about this project? The pattern includes written instructions. It includes charts and there will eventually be video tutorials for it as well. It's available as a single download pattern on my website and it's also available in Layers Knit eBook, which is being in production to become my next paperback book, paperback book right now too. So now I'll pause for a second to see if there's any questions. We've got birds this morning. They're not exactly curious about me though. They're just walking around. Lots of activity here this morning too. I said I was gonna look for questions and then I looked around. I'm sorry, I'll look for questions. Would it be a beginner project? It's not difficult at all. The pattern repeat is easy to remember, Cherie. I don't think it's a difficult project at all. I mean, it's lace. You have to learn how to do a little bit of lace, but other than that, no problem at all. Hi, Nikki. And all laces is a combination of yarn overs and decreases to create a beautiful pattern. Hi, butterfly kisses. Oh, I've already said hi, sorry. Hi, Tammy. Yes, Tammy has a good reminder. Don't forget to click the like button. If you like my podcast, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And always feel welcome to leave comments either in the live or in the recorded version because I come back and answer those questions all day long too. Hi. Uh... All right, I think we're done with questions for the moment. Hi, Perla. Thanks for joining live. I try butterfly kisses, I try. I know I don't make it to everybody every day, but uh, I certainly try to say hi to everybody. And I know my moderators are so incredibly friendly and helpful and help greet everybody too. So shout out to them and thank you. Hi, Lainey. What yarn color? Uh, Cherie wants to know what color. This is Waves of Green. Thanks, Donna. My ponytail is not getting longer yet, but uh, I braided my hair today and I'm just dreaming of the day when I can wear my braids down here again. Uh, hi, Sherry from Kokomo, Indiana. Yes, Barbara, we have amazing moderators, absolutely. Hi, Anna, hi, Brandy, thanks for joining live. Uh, Chantel, you'll have to go look at the pattern to see how much yarn it takes. I don't have all the details on me all the time. Uh, Stacy's loving Shishugi Bond colorway. I'm so glad, I love it too. Oh, no, yesterday I brought a project that I made in Shishugi Bond. I made a knit Mobius cowl in it. It's so beautiful and uh, it's one of the new patterns from Layers Knit, and uh, yeah, one ball project. Hi, Sandra from the UK. Thanks for joining live. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions at the moment, so we'll move on a little bit. I brought another piece from Layers Knit this morning. Yeah, I guess that's two days in a row I bought, brought projects from Lit Knit. I better bring some projects from Layers Crochet tomorrow. Um, or maybe we'll even do the podcast from uh, my backyard tomorrow. I know, I haven't thought it through yet because I'm really hoping that I can introduce the baby dolls tomorrow. The Rainbow Connection uh, layette set is almost done. Oh, excuse me, I missed me. 
Oh, I normally do three. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you, Joe. Thank you for the bless me's. Thank you, everybody. Hi, Rob. Thank you, Robin. Uh, hi, Linda. Thank you, Judy. Okay, so this one is another really beautiful piece. Thank you all for the bless me's. I appreciate it. Uh, this one is called the Gabrielle Knit Lace Cape. It is a half hexagon shape. You can see that but I did a self tie at the top so that it can be worn as a cape and it can actually be worn it's a lot easier to keep it on your shoulders that way it has a beautiful flower lace pattern to it this one's done in worsted weight yarn in um, be so bold which is my organic cotton and bamboo blend yarn buttery buttery soft it has a matte finish to it because of the organic cotton so now what I'm gonna do is wrap it around my shoulders. Now, if you didn't want to add those ties, again, it's a half hexagon. So you've got a flat section across the back and your two points on the side. So if you skip the self ties, you would tie it like this, right? You could put a shawl pin here. You could tie it up on its side like this. All sorts of ways that you can wear a half hexagon shape. You notice it has a pretty and subtle um, scallop edge along the bottom but by adding those self ties to it i really like how it turns into more of a cardigan look it looks like a cardigan that you've draped over your shoulders and that's where i was really going with this one i love that look of a draped cardigan over your shoulders and doesn't it look like that now and you could even do a butt a crystal button and a buttonhole on the other side if you wanted instead but i just think it's such a beautiful layering piece like this even if you wanted to just not with the top I have on today I didn't dress right for this I'm sorry about that so imagine wearing this over a dress to go somewhere formal like a wedding or going into a church you could wear spaghetti straps for later and wear this to cover your shoulders um, or just going anywhere I mean just for another layer in the spring if you're a little chilly in the morning it's so pretty and can you see the drape the yarn drape so beautifully now I'm gonna suggest again that this is also a worsted weight project but can you imagine how beautiful this would be in a thinner yarn to imagine doing this and be so fine bling i mean just it, that would be so gorgeous too so gorgeous and instead of doing a stockinette base like we did here meaning pearl on the wrong side if i were doing this in be so fine yarn or a lacier weight yarn i might consider doing knit on the wrong side so it had a garter base which would just give it a little different texture i just like changing things up anyway but um you could imagine if you buttoned you could do a lace it if you wanted to do a corset tie you could corset tie so that it was closed for a little more you could also put a couple of buttons on one side and buttonholes on the other i mean there's lots of ways you could secure this differently than i did but the self tie was just something easy i just cast on extra in the cast on and bound off in the first row super easy um, you could also probably wear this as a beach cover-up you would want to make sure that these fit your waist though if this isn't going to fit my waist but if you figured out how to tie it up like that it could be a really cute layer for over your bathing suit too isn't that cute or even wearing as like a like a sarong over a dress. That would be cute too. Put it back over my shoulders. It's surprisingly chilly here this morning. I wore the poncho on my bike all the way here and I didn't expect that. Good morning, Edna. So I'm gonna open this up again so you can see the construction again. So it's three different lace panels that are increased. Thank you, Stacy. Yes, they have. I like making my projects original, obviously, but they have to be functional too. If it's not functional or multifunctional, uh, if it's not something you'd feel comfortable wearing, I don't see the point of making it. So <laughs> I try to think about how I'd wear something as I'm designing it. So here's that half hexagon shape again. Really unique shape. And again, this gives you that um, flat edge across the back. So let's when you're wearing it as the half hexagon, I'm gonna put it back on as the half hexagon and I'll tie it in the front here. 
another really beautiful look. Look how it gives you that angled scallop edge when you tie a half hexagon. That looks gorgeous and you could tie it a second time like that. Now I'm going to show you the back. Look at how the back doesn't have a point facing my bum. Look at how it's flat across the back. Not just flat, but with a scallop edge. I think that that's just a really flattering look over your back. Thanks, Lily. Thanks, Lisa. I'm glad you guys like it. Ooh, it's bright out here this morning. I'm on day two of a headache. I mistakenly ate gluten this week, and for some reason, if I do, I get a three-day headache, and I'm on day two of it today, so hopefully by tomorrow it will go away. Thank you, Cherie. I love this one, too. So again, this is Be So Bold Yarn. Uh, number four, worsted weight, organic cotton and bamboo blend. But you could also do this in other weights of yarn for a slightly different look. And like I said, if, if I were to make another one, I think I'd do it in like maybe Be So Fine or Be So Fine Bling, just to give it a different look, be a, maybe a little more sheer. Uh, this is called the Gabrielle Knit Lace Cape. I love the flower petal lace. So pretty. Ah, Sandra, that doesn't sound fun either. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. <clears throat> I have half hexagon patterns, half hexagon shawls in crochet, if that's what you're asking, Linda. Yes. First one that comes to mind is called Isla Morada, and that's a free pattern on my website using Be So Fine yarn and uh, you can, yeah, it's called the Isla Morada shawl. Thank you, Naomi. Uh, I think this was called Mia's Malachite Meadow colorway. I don't think it's in stock right now, but I have other colors in stock. I wish you could feel it. I'm sure you can see the drape. Look at that. For cotton and bamboo, I mean, that's a worsted weight yarn. Look at how that moves for worsted weight. That's amazing. <laughs> it's because of the bamboo, I think. Thanks, Joe. I love dyeing yarn. It's so fun. Hi there. Good morning. We have a dog visiting us. Look at this. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, who's a good boy? Hi. <laughs> They're not supposed to be down here. That's a no-no. No dogs allowed, but oh well. For me, it's a nice treat to say hi to friendly animals. <laughs> You know how I feel about friendly animals. <gasps> I think there's a dolphin. Um, let's see, let's double check. Yep, we do, we've got a dolphin, I think. Okay, so just to the left of the boys playing, maybe 30 feet out. Let's, if you could just be patient with me for a second, let's, let's watch, oh, I think so. You can only see the water rippling right now. But there's a lot of people watching too, so I'm feeling hopeful. Gosh, we haven't done this in a while, have we? There he is, you see him? Okay, so past the boys, about diagonal past the boys, maybe two o'clock from the boys, uh, and about 30 or 40 feet out. Oh, looks like there could be a couple of them now. I'm just seeing the water rip. Yep, there he, oh, he's leaving. To see how he's gone maybe about 60 feet from the boys and maybe like th almost three o'clock. There he goes. Yeah, the boy saw it. How, how crazy to be in the water when a dolphin's in the water. That is so cool. I don't know if I'd love it, but <laughs> I prefer to watch them from here. <laughs> I don't know, I've heard horror stories about how in mating season, um, dolphins can be dangerous to human beings. And I won't go into the gory details, but um, I've heard that it can be really, really brutal and violent. Only during mating season, though. <laughs> I think I saw a question about when the paperback's going to be out for layers, knitting layers, crochet. I'm giving myself a one to two, a couple of weeks. I think like within two weeks, it should all be done and we'll have a date. Yeah, Jane, I see people swimming with dolphins here, too. Grammy's working on the fine lace sampler. That's a pretty one. 
I remember knitting a, I remember knitting that sample shawl when I was at a tennis tournament in, in Miami with Marlon, actually Key Biscayne, and um, took the first photos of it at, uh, across the fence at his tennis tournament. It's now a beautiful finished pattern that you can find on my website, and it takes one ball of Be So Fine yarn. Hi, Luna. Hi, Grace. Yes, nature is amazing, Linda. Just amazing. Animals and plants, all of it. I love all of it. Even weather. I don't know. I'm the, you know I'm a nature lover. <laughs> oh. The dolphin's still there, but he's pretty far now and he's behind people, so I don't think it would help for me to show him to you again. Well, come back this way. That'd be more fun. Constance just finished the Delma cowl. Ooh, that's a pretty one too. That's from my book, Motif Magic. Yeah, we've got lots of Judy's here, don't we? And different spellings, which helps a little bit. Doesn't sound any different, but. <laughs> Hi, Christine, thanks for joining live. colors are so pretty this morning. I hope you can see the glow at the horizon. There's still a bit of a glow there. There's a little bit of a smokiness to it. Actually, there's a smokiness over there, not here. Let's see if you can see the smokiness. Can you see a little smokiness at the horizon? And then otherwise, it's got a slight bit of yellow, a warm golden yellow, and a tiny bit of peach still, and then uh, goes up into that bright, vibrant blue sky. My gosh, is that not the prettiest blue? Mm so clean and pure um, and then we've got our golden sand so many pretty colors this morning and a little on the vibrant side I must say the water's pretty vibrant it's reflecting the um, sky beautifully uh, Stacy the layers book is available in ebook format it's going to become a paperback as well Grammy, yes, I do do my hair myself. In fact, I was intimidated by two braids for my whole life. I've wanted to wear my hair like this my entire adult life. And it wasn't until two years ago that I encouraged myself to practice, practice, practice. And within a couple of weeks, I got it down and I've been wearing my hair in two braids ever since. And anybody who feels intimidated by doing it, all I can say is just try and just practice and don't give up on yourself because this is one of my minor dream come, dreams come true was to learn how to do this and I never thought I could. So please, please use me as an example and give it a try. Thanks Grace, I love the shawl too. It's so comfy on. It's like draping a cardigan over your shoulders without the sleeves dangling. I think that's my favorite part because I love that look, but I don't like the sleeves dangling. So I love something that can be secured here. Oh, Sherry, the, shawl, the dolphin was here first. That makes sense since he was going that way. That's cool. Well, hopefully you guys got to all see him then for longer than I realized. That's great. All right. Well, unless there's any more questions, which I don't see any more about the garments and the construction styles we talked about today. Uh, missing the names. This is the Gabrielle Knit cape and this is the Jenna corset tied poncho and they're both available as single downloads on my website or available as part of the layers knit ebook and if you didn't get a chance to see both of them I encourage you to go back and watch the recorded version of today's podcast because I talked about some really interesting construction styles and explained not only the construction and the details of how to make them, but also show several ways to wear both of them and talked about yarn substitution as well. So let's go back to our journal. We're in volume one, issue three of Create, Share, Inspire notebook. If you are interested in buying any of my notebooks, they're available on my website and on Amazon Prime all over the world in English and in Spanish so far. And let's just randomly pick a quote. All right, I got distracted by some pictures. So let's just la -di -da -di -da -di -da. Oops, I went to the title. <laughs> That's a gorgeous shawl. Thank you. Are you on right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should I leave you alone? No, it's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
gosh, which Can I, you want to say hi? Sure. Hi this is all. Kristen. She used to come <laughs> to my um, meetup group on Tuesday nights, which I haven't done in a while, but we will That's again. Okay. Yeah. And uh, she lives in this neighborhood too. And I guess you're going for a walk on the beach this uh, morning. I'm always outside doing something yeah. in the morning. Somewhere. <laughs> Me somewhere too. Different I ride time. my bike here, as you know. We've mm -hmm. passed each other on bikes one day too. But I couldn't stop and say hi because I was in a hurry. <laughs> Because you were going to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's kind of hard when you're on your way to work to stop and socialize. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. That well, boss is such yarn? a stickler. I know. She is. She's really bossy. <laughs> what is this yarn? This is Be So Bold. <gasps> this is uh, oh, organic cotton and bamboo blended together, and it's a number four weight. It comes oh, at a number wow. one fingering weight, too. Oh, Love it. I love the Thank you. floor. This is fantastic. Thank oh you. Gosh. The drape you still have that for color? worsted weight. I mean, that's incredible yes, drape. I know. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm just stunned. And I'm always, <laughs> I'm always making things with these tiny needles. And you yeah. see they're like be so fine or something. Yeah. And this have you seen bling? It sounds like I should. Yeah, you should. <laughs> bling is be so. F Sorry, guys. I guess she's. We haven't, I like I, we haven't seen her since it. Bling came out. I know how much you guys love Bling, so she needs to know about it. So it's Be So Fine uh -huh. with a thread of pure silver, not synthetic oh, lurex, gosh. pure 100% silver applied into the yarn. And I've done it in sporty and in fine. Oh, it's gorgeous. Sounds gorgeous. I need to go yeah. to your website and I need to find this. Say it again. What is this Be um, So? Be So Bold. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. And is this... Let me know. Oh, and we can meet up for coffee and I'll bring some oh, okay. yarn with me. Oh, Let me know what perfect. you want to see. Okay? Yes. All right, All right so great. just reach out. Day, <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're back. All right, so now we will look for our quote again. Okay, we've read that one. Ooh, I love this one. This one is Jane Austen. Okay, there is no charm equal to tenderness of heart. Gosh. If we could just, if that could just be a daily mantra, what a beautiful world this would be, right? So let's read this again. There is no charm equal to tenderness of heart. Oh, it just, oh, just the idea of the world having that for everyone be their mantra in the morning. Can you imagine if everybody was tender in their heart, tender to themselves and tender to others? I can't even imagine. But we can't control the world. We can't even control the people in our small circle around us. We can only control ourselves. Uh, so the only person that you can apply this to is yourself. But the more you apply things like this to yourself, the happier you are on the inside. And the more happiness you radiate to the world and the more you inspire other people with your calmness, your tenderness, and your happiness. So let's read it one more time from Jane Austen. There is no charm equal to tenderness of heart. And let's always remember, tenderness of heart applies to not only how we treat other people, but how we treat ourselves, because true happiness radiates from the inside out. So just remember every morning to be tender with yourself. And trust me, as I'm saying this to you, you know that saying, when you point one finger out, you've got four more pointing back at you. I'm saying this to myself too. I always need reminders to be tender to myself, always. And anytime I get the reminders and apply them, I have such a better day. And so I hope that that little reminder will help you to be more tender to yourself today and have a better day because of it too. All right, thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the sunrise, our dolphin friend, my demos, chatting with me and everyone else here. If you like the podcast, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel to be notified when I have new videos and new tutorials, and click that bell notification button next to the subscribe so that you can be notified every time I go live and you can join in all of the fun with the community. If you have any questions, please always feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. And I have a great set of links here in the video description if you want to find my website or any other details about me or my business. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.